Clip Studio Paint 4 introduces the ability to paint directly on 3D figures and primitives, a game changer for comic, manga, and animation artists. It's great for creating custom guides and ready to use models like hands, props, and backgrounds. This tutorial offers practical tips to help you get started and make the most of this feature. Understanding Painting on 3D Models When painting on 3D models, brush strokes are projected from the camera's view. The more curved the surface, the more distorted the strokes become. To avoid distortion, keep turning the model and paint on surfaces facing the camera. Tips on painting on 3D figure. Let's go through practical tips and tricks for painting efficiently on a 3D figure. The feature supports default and custom variants of the 3D drawing figure version too. While you can adjust the proportions afterwards, as the texture stretches along, you can't switch between male and female body type. Drag and drop a chosen body shape from the material palette. Keep in mind that for changing the pose or a camera you need to use the Operation Object tool. Camera Settings In the Object Launcher, reset the pose, center the object, and set the camera angle to the front view. In the Sub-Tool Detail, Camera tab, set perspective to 1 to avoid distortion. Turn off lights. Under Light Source, uncheck Apply Light Source. If left on, the eyedropper tool will pick colors affected by lighting, not just the painted color. Symmetrical Ruler. There's no auto mirror function yet, but we can work around it to some degree. Use the symmetrical ruler, set the number of lines to 2 and check line symmetry. On a new layer, drag the ruler vertically through the model's axis while holding Shift. Right-click on the ruler icon in the layer palette and select Show in all layers. Keeping it separate from the 3D layer makes it easier to turn on and off. Color Palette Since direct tonal corrections don't work on 3D model textures, prepare swatches for skin, clothing and guides in advance. Tools that can be used on 3D models The eyedropper, marquee, and auto-select work just like on raster layers. Brushes most brushes, including decoration brushes, work fine, even those using blend modes like multiply or overlay. However, brushes using color mixing or color jitter on brush tip color behave as if those functions are off. Blurring brushes act like regular brushes. Erasing brushes don't create transparency, they only remove your applied colors, revealing the default texture. Hitting delete while painting clears the painted colors. Tools that can't be used on 3D models. Currently, tools like Lasso Fill, Fill, Gradient, Liquify, and Direct Draw don't work on 3D models, but hopefully they'll be supported in future updates. Change poses and camera angles while painting. Rotate the model using camera presets while painting, especially to alternate between front and back views when using the symmetrical ruler. For side views or other angles, Turn the ruler off to avoid mirrored strokes showing up in the wrong place. To draw on hidden areas like the inner arm, adjust the pose accordingly. If using the symmetry ruler, you can use the mirror pose function under the pose tab. Practical example, hands. Want to use 3D hands in your comic without redrawing them in every panel? Painting the hands in the default pose will result in color spilling on the body too. Adjust the pose so both hands are isolated side by side. Pose one arm palm down in front of the figure, straighten and spread the fingers, and mirror the pose. The camera presets don't include top and bottom views, but you can easily create them in the Subtool Detail Palette, Camera tab. Duplicate the current view, move the camera above the figure, set X in camera position to zero to align the axis for symmetry, and rename the camera to top. Create the bottom view the same way. If any parts go off canvas, don't move the camera. Use the Move Layer tool with Shift to reposition instead. With the symmetry ruler placed through the figure's axis on a new layer, paint with soft brush strokes and sample colors for better blending. For translucent skin, use overlay or soft light modes. Check out my painting skin tutorial for more on this method. Quick tip, skin color zones. Like faces, hands have color zones, backs are golden, knuckles, joints, and fingertips are reddish. Wrists and the thumb base have bluish tones. After painting the top view, switch to the bottom view for the palms. 
Use the front view to blend boundaries and finish the fingertips. To paint the sides, turn off the symmetry ruler, then smooth sharp transitions between top and bottom colors on each hand. Tight clothes and mob scenes. Direct use of painted figures isn't limited only to hands. You can paint tight outfits for dancers or superheroes, or create simple characters for crowd scenes. Paint one base figure, then duplicate it into the scene with different poses, recolor clothing, and add details like hair or accessories. This way you can easily create a background street mob, festival crowd, army of aliens or even a horde of zombies. Drawing guides. The basic use of customized 3D figures is drawing guides. To aid in the consistency of your comic characters, you can draw character-specific features like accessory placement, tattoos, fabric patterns, etc. on your character's body shape. However, keep in mind the limitations of the 3D figure. For example, the head is very simplified, be careful with important facial features like eyes. Eyes drawn from the front will be off when seen from the side. Anatomy References Painted 3D figures can also be turned into anatomy references. Not sure about muscles? Prepare a painted model with defined muscle groups. Quick tip. Whether you're painting guides for clothes or anatomy, use a bright contrasting color palette, so that the texture is clearly visible even with lowered layer opacity. Register as material. After painting, register your figure as a body type material, or set up lighting and outlines and save the entire 3D layer as a 3D image material for direct use in comics and other works by dropping the layer into the material palette. Painting on 3D primitives. Painting on primitives is similar to figures, with two differences. You can adjust the number of divisions of primitives to get various shapes. Their adjustable base color is kept separate from the drawing. You can also export and edit their textures separately, allowing the use of all tools and transparency. House. A house can be built using a cube and a prism with the number of X divisions set to 3. Change base colors and paint elements like windows or doors. Each primitive is painted separately, use the Operation Object tool to switch between them. Uncheck Show Wireframe when you don't need it anymore. For more control, export the texture file and paint details unwrapped. Hide the grid layer before saving or it will show on the model. Then reassign the texture file by clicking the file button or texture thumbnail in the sub-tool detail palette. The drawing is still present over the assigned texture, so switch to any brush tool and hit delete to clear it. Lanterns. Get creative. Deform a prism or sphere to make unique lantern shapes. Change base color and paint patterns. In the exported texture delete top and bottom areas for transparency. Drag the grid layer to the bottom, change the blending mode to normal, lock the transparency and turn it into strings. Reassign the texture file, set alpha to semi-transparent, switch to any brush tool, hit delete to clear the drawing, and the primitive becomes a glowing lantern on strings. Umbrella. Use a flattened pyramid with added divisions. You can use the symmetrical ruler to paint the pattern directly. In the texture file delete the base to create an open shape. Props. Combine shapes creatively. Like a cap from a sphere and a prism, a straw hat from a sphere and polygon or sandals for the 3D characters using two flattened prisms. Apply the transparency trick where needed. Background planes. The planar 3D primitives, the plane and polygon, can serve as quick background elements. Draw trees, bushes, or fences on them, Remove base color in the texture. Add details, and reassign the file. To keep these from being affected by the camera angle, set Follow Camera in the Primitive tab to on or horizontal only, depending on your scenes. Conclusion. Painting on 3D models in Clip Studio Paint 4 presents us with creative, time-saving ways to build both guides and final assets. With a little setup and imagination, you can bring new depth and efficiency to your projects.